5 Things You Didn't Know About Tara G. P. Henson Tonight, Empire Returns. The music industry drama had a record-breaking debut season, and was lauded by Glamour as the most-watched new show in 23 years, and if Tara G. P. Henson's character Cookie Lion has anything to do with it, we expect nothing less of this next chapter. Henson plays the ex-con boss lady heroine, a role that also earned her back-to-back -back Emmy nominations and a Golden Globe win. They want Cookie, Henson has said of the show's viewership. They see her heart. They see her intentions. And they love her style, her style is 17 years behind the fashion curve, which makes the clothes a character on the show. As Cookie grows, you'll see her fashion grow. In anticipation of the new season, and the accompanying wardrobe, here are five things you may not have known about Henson. 1. Henson turned down Empire at first. I was done with television, she told Vogue. I was like, I don't like being trapped in a little box. I'm a movie star. Empire creator Lee Daniels, who first met Henson when she auditioned for his award-winning 2009 film Precious knew Henson would be instrumental to the show's success. Lee wanted me for the thin, pretty teacher in Precious, Henson recalled. And I was like, well, I want to play Precious, because that's the role in this piece. Lee thought I was nuts. I was like, look, they turned Charlize Theron into a monster. I could be this girl. When I think about that now, it was such a cookie move. Eventually. Hansen recognized the opportunity at hand. Not only would I never be offered a character like Cookie in a movie, but she doesn't exist, she has said. Cookie is bold and crazy, and she loves the struggle. She started from nothing, and now she's at the top. In that way, we're alike, Cookie is the American dream. 2. Hansen isn't always a fan of Cookie's outrageous style. For example, at the CFDA Awards, Henson told a reporter, I don't wear any more print, thanks to Cookie. Henson worked with costume designer Rita McGee and together they cookie fee everything. You know your character has made it big when her name can be used as a verb, a mix of crime bosses, female bosses, and Diana Ross influence the wardrobe. Some is on loan from actual hip-hop moguls such as Monique Mosley, the business partner and wife of Timbaland, who also serves as the show's executive music producer. Cookie wears fur, Alorast Henson. She also sold crack. Things that I don't do, Henson has said, but on other occasions, Henson draws inspiration from the attire she's given. Take, for instance, the scene in which Cookie is clad in nothing but lingerie and a trench coat at a dinner party. When I turn around and say, this is a real ass, that was not scripted, Hansen revealed. No one was expecting it. They always give me options, and I always pick what I feel good in. I put that on, and I said, this is it. 3. If Hansen weren't an actress, she would have been a cosmetologist. Actually, when Henson started college at North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University, she planned to become an electrical engineer, it sounded like I was going to make a lot of money, she said of her major, but later transferred to Howard University, where she studied theater. In between classes, Henson did hair in her apartment, charging $20 a pop. Oh, yeah. I knew how to hustle and make money, Henson has said. I could have gone to jail, I had no license whatsoever. But it was just my friends. They were like, girl, hook me up. These days, Henson takes a minimalist approach to beauty, although she does have a glam room in her house. It's where I go and play. 4. Henson was a mother at 24. When I got pregnant in college, People said, this is it for her, Hansen once recalled in an interview. But I did not stop. I never missed a class. I was in the school musical when I was six months pregnant, 
we just made the character pregnant. When she graduated, Henson carried her son across the stage to accept her diploma, and soon after, they moved to Los Angeles so that she could pursue acting. At that time, Henson was 26 and had $700 to her name, she didn't have a nanny, and took acting gigs that allowed her to be home as much as possible. I had a mission. I had to make my dream come true. If I didn't, what was I proving to my son? Henson has said. And I spun that $700 into an empire, didn't I? Henson also credits motherhood with her success on screen, people thought I was crazy, but being a mom early enhanced my talent. It opened up a side of me that I didn't know I had, that sense of duty and protection, and it kept me grounded in Hollywood. 5. Henson credits Empire with one of the best moments of her life. Lee Daniels brought me on stage, Henson recalled of Empire's Paris debut. The audience stood up on their feet and clapped. I cried because, for so long in Hollywood, I've been told that black women don't do well overseas, that they can't open a film overseas. That moment for me was the best moment of my life. That's better than any trophy, any award, any nomination. You know how they say music can heal the world? I feel that way about art in general. But let it be known that Henson hasn't stopped breaking boundaries. Case in point, her box office shattering hidden figures. Henson plays Katherine Johnson, the African-American mathematician who, in the segregated early 1960s, calculated the trajectories for NASA, paving the way for John Glenn to become the first American to orbit the Earth. Growing up, math and science was for boys. Henson said. I wasn't allowed to have that dream. I don't want another little girl growing up believing she can't be a rocket scientist. Fuck that. 